Today about the number of students who've received approval for an education savings account voucher. We now know more than 1,300 students in Lynn County got approval to use public dollars for private schooling. And KCRG TV 9's Iowa Capitol reporter Connor Hendricks now reports that these numbers are concerning Democrats who say the program is already too expensive. Nearly 19,000 Iowa students were approved for a private school voucher. Democratic House Minority Leader Jennifer Confer says she's concerned the number of approved students is already over budget. So we had planned and we had been told that the program would cost $107 million. We're now at $144 million that this program will cost. And so those are taxpayer dollars that are leaving public education and going to private schools. Confer says she's worried about the effects of the program on rural schools. We all know what happens when a school closes in a community. I worry about these communities as the state sends more dollars to private school and fewer to public school. Confer says school vouchers are an opportunity for the Democratic Party to make gains in the next election. School vouchers are unpopular with Democrats. They're unpopular with Republicans and they're unpopular with no party voters. Iowans can smell when something isn't right and they know it's not right to send $144 million of our tax dollars to private schools. Right now, only the approved number of vouchers has been released. We don't yet know how many students were awarded a voucher who then left public school. Districts have until the 15th to report that. At the State House, I'm Connor Hendricks reporting. And in a statement, Governor Kim Reynolds says these numbers reflect that Iowans were hungry for educational reform. Empowering parents wasn't just a campaign slogan, she says, or an empty rhetoric. It was a promise, and I am excited to say we are delivering.